So this is for the uh, Altura photo strap from Digital Gojo. So this is what I received. And I'm sure you, if you're interested in this, that you've probably already seen the other videos on the what's in the package and all that. But anyway, we'll put that there. And we're going to be working with this one. There's that. There's the strap. This is the extra one that goes with uh, if you have like a little um, little point and shoots that have that little. I mean, you could use it on this if you wanted to, but I, I don't know. I sure wouldn't want a heavier camera like this. So this is currently what I use, and it it's not real tight. It's loose. It fits, I can get to here, I can do this. You know, if I want it, you know, I just grab it. It's It holds like this. So I don't know, it's, it's an older Canon one. So that's what I currently use. However, I thought, well, progress. Maybe there's, there's something better. So let's see. Um, so I ordered it from them and tried it out for a while and then, um, well, you'll see. Let me see if I can get this out of here. And um, I'll probably edit some of this out so you don't have to watch if this takes too long. But it's pretty simple, so I guess it's coming out pretty quick. So there we have it. Off the end. There we go. Off the end. There we go. So as you can tell, it was held on here and on the uh, plate at the bottom. So that works for me because sometimes I use a tripod, some not, sometimes not, and this is quick. So let's put this on and see how this works. So I did notice that a lot of people were having trouble getting this to to thread through. I don't I don't know why, but they you know some people are challenged in that area, but. <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe that's because it really needs to go through this way. I don't know. So we'll, what I can do is if you have, if you like to just tear off a little piece of paper and then if you want to run it through from the top, just put the little piece of paper through there, grab that, push it, pull it, there you go. So that's got that up a little bit more. And then I can pull that down just a touch more. And then you pull those two. And then you take the little slider, slide it back on. See, and there you go. That's not gonna, that's not gonna give. So now you have this. So let's get to the other piece of this. Because, of course, the big concern I had was whether this would fit me. So as you can tell on my knuckles. I need to have about nine and a half inches. I can squeeze them in maybe if I squeeze them to nine, but really easily I need nine and a half. Okay, keep that in mind. Then we'll take this and you'll notice this is tight. And it does give, which is wonderful. Thank goodness, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get it on at all and then you attach it to here. And so there you've got your camera. Now, if you want to do a little, you know, you can do it like that. You can hold it like this. But I find this is very um, clunky and not not weldy. Okay, so we take pictures, ba 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 ba, and then I want to change this out for a different camera. If you'll notice, you cannot, you have to rotate this around with your other hand and reach this in and click it to get out. Or if you've got it like this, you still have to have another hand to be able to release it. So, which means if you had a second camera, maybe with this one or a second set of these and you wanted to put this on another camera quickly, you'd have to take both hands because there's not enough leeway in this 
to be able to, and you certainly can't slide your hand out without using both hands. And it's a, you know, it's, it's just, maybe it'll stretch out, I don't know. But it would have to stretch a lot to fit my hand. And I don't like this part where I have to be awkwardly trying to get that to release and then get the next camera out and try to, how are you going to do that with one hand? You're not. You can't, there's just not enough space here. And this is so clunky. And I've got this pushed absolutely as far open. In other words, this is as far down as it'll go. And I thought, well, if I take just take that off, that would give me more space. But then the only thing holding it, if you can get that, would be its little rivets right there. So anyway, so I have no idea you know, how small a person would have to be to want to even use that because there's it slid. How are you going to, you know, utilize it? So that's my take on this particular strap. I just don't think that, um, that this would work for me, especially if you are using several cameras and you want to be able to operate with just one hand. So, but Digital Gojo, who I bought this from, were fantastic. They immediately gave me a refund and said, just keep this and put up, would I do a review on it? So I've done the review and there you go. It's definitely quality made. Look at the stitching is perfect. You know, this is a nice, good clip, not a cheap one. This is so bulky though, and just does not fit my hand. I can get it on and it's comfortable, it's soft, but I can't get it off <laughs> easily without using both hands. Okay, well, there's your review. Hope that helped you. This is the um, from Altura Photo Rapid Fire Wrist Strap Quick Release. There you have it.